Well, I'm not sure if you can hear that sound, but instead of cooking food this time, I think I've cooked the marks. So, super cheap auto, here we come. Might have an idea what it is off to the mechanic. So, let's see if the weekend trip goes to plan. So, I've been to super cheap, I had to go to Repco as well, grabbed a couple of belts, but dropped at my mate's place. Nice little mechanic here. How we doing, bud? Good, bro. What do you reckon? She's cooked. She's cooked? She's cooked. This, but, is, not, this is not good. We're in good hands, though. So. She's in good I hands. I hope so. Well, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. We're gonna go look over the car. Hope there's not too much wrong, but I uh, guess we'll find out. Uh-oh. 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 Seems to have stopped making a noise now. Thanks, mate. No stress, mate. You're back on the tracks. Hopefully. We'll and find out tomorrow. That's it. I'll leave you guys with a tip, guys, for all you inspiring chef slash mechanics. Make sure you turn your ratchets off, all right? After you finish, they'll go flat overnight, all right? That's my tip. Great little tip there. Get back on the tracks. See you on the tracks, guys. Going up, I'm here with a couple other lads. So I'm here with Ethan from Dads and Lads. There he is. And uh, Nate from Screen Printing Australia. So we're here with all our kids. You can probably hear them in the background. Loving a quick swim down there. So, but I'm gonna do a little cook up today. So I'm gonna do some fish tacos. I'm gonna do a little caramelized mango salsa. Something a little different. Be good for uh, summer, beach, river, whatever you catch, fish tacos. So everyone that loves a fish taco, not in that way, Ethan. Something a bit different though, like caramelized mango salsa, so a little bit of chef touch on it, but see how we go, so I'll get everything out. Alright guys, I'm going to start with this caramelized mango salsa. So, best thing about this bag, once again, canvas choice. Great for your veggies and your fruits in your fridge. Keeps them nice and fresh, breathable. So, what have I got in here? A couple of mangoes, uh, capsicum, red onion, lime, chili, coriander. Everyone hates it, but I love it. Nathan's throwing up right now. Spring onion, and a couple of avocados as well. So, keep it nice and fresh. And I got some nice Charlie caught up top of, top of the WA, up on the WA coast. So. WA local fish. Obviously I can't fish. I'm not gonna catch anything here. Bring your own fish. But um bolt. Keep his gone. Knife out. So what I'm gonna do when I get to the mango, uh, I'm gonna put some brown sugar in it, caramelize it nicely on Ethan's Weber, so lucky he bought his Weber, otherwise we'll be using shitty little fry pan today. So, start with, we're going to go some red onion in there, some spring onion, some capsicum, coriander, a little bit of lime juice, and a little bit of chilli, just to heat it up a bit. So, let's get stuck into it.
Next up, a little bit of coriander. It's a love-hate relationship with most people. A lot of people think it tastes like soap, but mate, you can't have fish taco without some coriander. So I got a little bunch here. I'm gonna take some aside for some garnish later, just cause why not sass it up at the end. And then we're gonna and chop some straight in there. So only a little bit, cause the people around me are sooks and they like coriander. A little bit of chili next, so we're just going to cut the chili up quickly. Not too much chili, but chili and mango go so well together. So we'll leave some aside again, a bit of garnish, and we'll just roughly chop some chili. And straight the bowl, and I'm just going to squeeze some lime juice. So the lime here, go half for now, and we can always taste later. Don't worry, I washed my hands the other week, so they're clean. And now, we're now with the mango. So with the mango, guys, I'm gonna chuck it on the Weber. So I'm gonna put a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of paprika, and char it up nicely. So it's some caramelized mango straight in the sauce. So something a little, little bit, little bit, something a little bit different, but um, it's gonna go amazing with the fish. So we're just gonna cut the cheeks off. So a couple of mango cheeks there. Oop, cut too short there. This one's got a big seed. There we go. Didn't want to cut. So, now we get these barbecuing. So we don't need to go too crazy in this. So I'll go brown sugar first. I'm just gonna rub that in so it caramelize. And a little bit of smoked paprika. Let's have a look at these. That one can probably stay a little bit longer. I reckon this one. Oh, look at that. We can always flip them back. Get a few more char marks on them. Hey, there you go. Look at that. And smell that. This looks smells and looks amazing. So I have flipped them again. Get a bit more caramelisation on them. I think they're gonna be good. So I'll get a plate. Hey, run away. Here we are. Just gonna chop them up. So we're just gonna, how you would with a normal mango, nice and soft. Just score them. Look at that. Nice diced mango ready for the salsa. Nice and chopped. Look at our spoon. Trying to scoop that out. Look at that. Smells amazing. Get all that in there. waste any of that. Last one. Hey. Check that out guys. How good does that look? Now we're just going to mix it through. Make us a little bit warm, which is good. Everything will break down nicely. Starting to soften. How uh, colourful and good does that look? Look at that, guys. Now, do a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt in there. 
So I'm chuck that in there. A little flake salt from a height, as all good chefs do. And we're just going to toss that through. So that is going to be bang on on top of these tacos. So now it's fish time. Up to the fish. But you're probably wondering, due to the thumbnail, what happened to the car? So lucky enough that it wasn't anything major. We all know the Isuzu's are flies in the face. Um, Isuzu's have their problems with their turbos. So I did have a turbo overboost uh, code come up. Lucky I had Ethan from Dads and Lads check over the car and we just placed a couple of belts. It was squealing off its head. So that's the only problem at the moment, but I'm anticipating the turbo going anytime soon. But anyway, that's another day's problem. Let's get to the fish. So, fish. We've got some nice Charlie from up, up uh, around the mid coast of WA. So, as I said, I'm not going to catch some fish. I can't catch some fish. I'm shit fisherman. So, nice Charlie there. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to char that on the Weber. So, what we're going to do, get it ready. Some nice backpack Charlie here. Just season it up nicely and uh, chuck him on the Weber. So, Get it all sorted here, open all these little packs, little backpack packs, and we'll get him sorted. But we're going to keep it super simple, um, just salt and pepper, straight grilled fish. But all the flavour is going to come from that salsa, so obviously we caramelise that, that mango. So caramelised mango, the sweetness of that, the uh, sourness of the lime there, and you've got all that just mixing together. Beautiful salsa on top of this fish, so let's get this sorted. Let's go straight to the Weber. Just keep it simple. A bit of salt and pepper, so a bit of cracked pepper. And some nice salt. You know what? I might actually do some little bit, bit of paprika as well. There we go. Come check this out. Let's go to the Weber. All right, straight to the Weber, guys. Might get a little bit of spritz of oil. These things are amazing. A little bit of a spritz of oil. Go straight on with the fish. That smells amazing. Can't wait to get this off straight into a taco. Guys, this has literally been two minutes and this is ready already. Nice and quick, easy, and this smells ridiculous. Fish doesn't take long, mate. So, straight off. So it was maybe a minute and a half on one side, 30 seconds on the next, and we're done. Fish is cooked, so good at little tortillas, tortillas. What do you want to call them? One thing I did forget, a little bit of oil in the salsa. So, a little bit of truffle oil, truffle oil here. And a bit sassy here. A little bit of oil. Is it a bit, makes it a bit more saucy. Tortillas. Straight, actually before that, avocado. So avocado straight in half, guys. And we're just gonna cut it straight into strips. Without cutting our hands, please. And we're just gonna scoop that out. So, nice avocado. Get rid of the seed. On that one. And scoop him out, so, ready. Nice avocado strips, ready for our tacos. So sit that aside, just sit that one under there for now, get that later. So, constructing. So sh 
straight on here. Just gonna do three for now. Go straight on with our avocado. Alright. Straight on with some fish. And a little bit of salsa. So, where's that spoon gone? There he is. A little bit of that mango salsa on top. Looks great, looks nice and colourful, smells amazing. Alright, we're just going to finish that with a little bit of coriander, which we had before. And a little bit of chilli, guys. So come have a look at these. Come close. Come have a look at these. And these, amazing for a summer taco. So, beach, bush, catch your fish, a nice sweet sour salsa, straight on top of those. So, I'm gonna cook some for everyone. We're gonna kick back and enjoy these, have a couple of beers, go for a swim with the kids, and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. <music> Guys, I'm gonna get stuck into these. Who wants to come and join me? Who wants to have one? Ethan? Yeah, I'll have one, mate. Right, Why not? Cool. Hang on, hang on, oh, hang yeah. on, hang on. I did forget that. I did forget the cupy. The little up high. <laughs> oh little god. Splattered on there, mate. Mate, that looks like a good night. <laughs> hey. Alright, cool. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thanks for cooking. No worries. Sensational. That's good. Hmm. I'm happy with that, nice and fresh. Simple. Nice and for summer. Mm. I'm happy. Love so, it. we're gonna get something to these guys. We might go for a quick swim with the kids. Mm -hmm. And we'll pack up. And uh, we'll see you on the tracks next time. But till then, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Jump on, pick up some merch, support us. And um, yeah, till next time, we're gonna get something to these. Yep. Cheers. Mm -hmm.